Hey guys, Pro Dumpster Diver here today, back at it again. So, I'm making this video now <clears throat> because I did I did the previous upload today, and I want to make sure all of you know about the amount of palladium chips that I have. Since I've been doing this for about four months, I should have been doing it a year. So, I want to be clear and show you guys exactly how much I have. Okay, I'm going to go over the color, how much it is, and be clear I don't have my tweezers, but we do have this, okay? So, this is a bag of 100% blue, uh, what you call palladium capacitors here. Okay, all of this in here is blue. I color-coded everything as you can see it. All of this is blue, and yes, it is, it's a lot, right? Like, this is actually pretty, pretty heavy right now. I don't know how much it weighs. I have my weight scale over there. I'll pull it out at the last minute. Okay? So these are the blue capacitors here. Okay? Now, if you look on eBay, you can actually type in the blue palladium scrap capacitors. And people are selling them for about 250 bucks. Now, again, it does take a long time to pull this out. But the best places to find the big ones are in power supplies. Okay? So this is that. These are the frequency crystals that I got. I put a lot more in there today. This is a massive amount of them. As you can see, there's different sizes. You have the thin ones here. You have the slightly bigger ones that are actually there. I think this is the biggest one I actually got there. Okay, so these are the frequency crystals that I actually have. These are the blue capacitors right now. So I'm going to go over to this part here, okay? And what we actually have is we have the light, I would say, what would you call this? I'm not going to call it yellow. I call it a light orange, but it's not really orange because if you look in here, this is orange. This is, I would consider a beige. I guess, I don't know what you guys would call this, but then you also can't say yellow because I have this is yellow. Okay, so we got to figure out what to call these, but they're mostly filled with pieces that look like this. Okay, now these are the light, I'll call them cream ones. Let's call them cream. I'll call them cream capacitors, and I've mixed them in with a lot of yellow. I, I think the spoon thing looks cool because like, I'm digging in and I'm pulling out. Hey, look, I got a spoonful of capacitors for you bastards. Right, like, it's funny. But, oh, shit. Okay, so this is pretty good. So I have cream in here, but I also have yellow in there as well. Okay, I like the spoon thing though. It's like I'm there, I got a spoonful of shit for you. Oh, wait, shit. I got an orange one in there. Okay, so I got a spoonful of stuff here. Okay, now all of this again is palladium pieces that I can melt in. Okay, now I do want to separate them by color because as I realized, I got this plastic container, the blue I think started here and then it expanded. And now it's in a big bag. Now here's the thing I realized. I may have to double bag this because as you can actually see, they have the small metal thing still attached to them. And if it pokes a hole out of it, the hole may expand because of the weight. So that's another thing. So I would tell you guys to get a plastic case. But if you're going to keep doing this, get one where it divides itself. That way you have a whole section for color. So you don't have to worry about it going out, okay? All right, now these are the greens here, okay? Now there's different color greens and different types of uh, capacitors there, okay? So you have these light green ones there. These are obviously the bigger ones, okay? Then you have these ones here they're a much different texture these ones do break easy itself okay now again those ones do break easy as well but these ones are a little bit more clay okay as you can basically see they do break a little bit now there are some lighter green ones okay which are here they don't break as easy but these are the shiny ones there so i can call these ones like the holographic ones over there as well okay and then you have some of the other shiny ones there that are actually wrapped in plastic now i would have to put all of this inside of the acid there while heated and i'm going to have to let it sit for a long time but i'm going to use a bubbler to make sure i get all the palladium out and i do have different ones in here now the one thing is i'm seeing a lot of these black ones they're just black okay but they're rare i only have maybe one or two of them you can see one here 
but I can also pull one out here, okay? It's a plastic coat, okay? So on these, there I have the beige. I also have these orange ones here. They still have the same plastic marker. Oh, I got a red one. Now, I really don't find red ones out there right now. To be honest, I've only found about one or two red palladium capacitors. Just one or two. It's rare. I really don't see them, but it's pretty good when I do find them there, okay? So I have the beige. I have orange. I have the green, light green, ceramic ones here. I have the, I guess we'll call them cream. And then we have the yellow capacitor ones there. And then we have the blue. And then we have the uh, frequency uh, crystal ones that are basically there. Okay? All right, good. Now, let's continue. <clears throat> All right. Now, here, you're probably asking what this is. These are the circuit breakers that I found, which actually do have... Uh, as you can see right there, silver on them, okay? They do have silver on them as well. The ends of them have silver. I have to put these in a bag and put them up. I'm going to end up doing that later on, okay? All right, now, <clears throat> let's get to a bit of the meat and potatoes of the purpose one there, okay? So I'm going to turn this over. I'm going to move these up, okay? Bear with me. I'm just turning it. Okay. All right, and good. Okay, I want to make sure we got the center. Okay, so I'm going to go over this. This is a little bit of some of the miscellaneous stuff there, but some of this there is has MLCCs that you can uh, see inside of it. You got some gold pieces there, so that should basically be moving over. These right here, let me take a spoonful. I love the spoon thing. It's really cool, okay? This here... You basically do these are like the original ones that people melted you'll always see these in bags people had actually gotten these before they really ended up getting the blue capacitors uh, over there right now at the time which are pretty good okay so we have these light colored ceramic ones there it's, it's, it's so many different colors for this because it all has uh, many different properties of it right now okay so let's go ahead and take a spoonful of this Okay, now I'm probably going to end up getting more pieces in this than ever before, but I, I do want to be careful because the end of this is broken. Okay, so as you can basically see, there's a couple things in here. There's these switches that do contain a bit of silver, and I have some very large, very, very, very large uh, capacitor pieces there, which are absolutely pretty good. Okay, uh, now, and also, if you're looking at this, okay, I want to take another scoop. You do see these pieces here, okay? These ones there, they don't have much palladium pieces in it, but I always do find them among the MLCCs that are basically there right now. Okay, so I'm gonna dig in. Look at this, look at this. Okay, this is the coolest part there, right? This is cool. <clears throat> but I also have to be careful because I chipped a lot of these up with a chisel. I found some chisels that somebody had actually thrown out. Uh, when someone got evicted, so I use that to pry them off. I don't heat boards to get this, okay? I'm letting you know right now, to get any of these, I use a chisel. I don't heat the board up in any way, shape, or form to get these out. This is a spoonful of just palladium scrap, absolute palladium scrap, which is beautiful, okay? I do like that, all right? So I want to be transparent with you guys. And I do want to make sure you're getting the right amount of information. Right now, you guys don't think I'm just doing this for views. But I do want to be clear with what I have, what I'm showing right now, and what my stash is, okay? Now, this is just my scrap palladium stash, okay? This is everything I've collected in four months. Now, you're probably asking, how much is something like this worth, okay? One, it depends on the weight. Two, it depends how much you have right now, okay? So, as you can barely see... Uh, we have different colors. So let's look and see on everything of what we actually have. I'm going to pick this rod up. Okay. So what we have in view of absolutely everything. Okay. I'm going to bring this up. And this is everything. <clears throat> okay. Now a lot of you are asking, dude, like, can I just pay for go on eBay and buy this? Sure you can. Absolutely, it'll save you time. But again, you're going to pay like double the retail for it. I'm seeing people right now end up spending too much money on RAM. RAM is a huge amount. If you go on eBay, they want a lot of money for it. Okay? So this here, okay? I'm going to put this cell phone 
to prop it up. I uh, hope it looks good for you guys. I want to make sure everything is transparent. So we have um, what you call the oscillation crystals, frequency crystals here. We have the blue. We have the MLCC assorted with the other smaller capacitor pieces in with the gray. These gray ones, again, are rare. I really don't see them. But if I do, I'll just put them in there because they'll all get crunched up and melted. Uh, we basically do have the silver that goes in a separate bag. We have the cream. We have greens, orange, red. And I guess you call this color beige. Now, where do you find these big ones? You find these in power supplies. You'll find many of them in the power supplies for computers. You might find them in computers, specifically desktops. You're not going to find them in laptops. I rarely get laptops nowadays. I'm finding more desktops now. And I pick out the power supply and I pull these bad boys out. You're going to find a lot more blues, but you're going to find some of these there. Now, there are backup power supplies that you plug into the wall. Okay, when I see people throw them out, I, take the, I uploaded a video today that showed I have four of them there. Okay, and I showed you guys how these were there. I pull these out. All of these really come from power supplies. Now, you'll find these also in power supplies, but you'll find them in something different. You'll find a lot of these pieces in stereo, stereo equipment itself. You'll find them in radios. Uh, also, laptop power supplies, you'll find these as well okay the mlccs you're going to find them on circuit boards there get get it if you can go to a high-end dollar store and get a chisel for a dollar or two dollars do it and then i just sand it off if i can by hand if the chisel is getting dull but these definitely work out right now okay so this is my entire palladium scrap uh hoard okay now uh, let's get to the next question what would something like this cost retail okay so we'd have to weigh it all right, now, yeah, my hands are a bit blackened up right now because of the way it absolutely looks. So what we're going to do is we're going to weigh this and figure out how much this is in grams. And then we're going to figure out what the price of palladium is. And then once we figure that out, we're going to take the 10% off of that there or even 5% off of what it is. OK, so we're going to do that. All right. So bear with me because I'm going to make sure I give you guys as much information as I can right now. OK, so I'm going to close this up. OK. And I'm going to put the frequency crystals here. And I'm going to put the blue capacitors here so that you guys can basically see everything, okay? We're going to get a weight scale. Okay. It's a bit dusty, but I have it here. Okay. So bear with me one second. Okay. That is a bit off. So I'm going to put that here. Okay, now I'm going to do this briefly right now. I think it's a little battery on this, so you should be able to see that. Okay, and boom. I'm going to drop the entire weight on it right now. It is 1,194, not 95, okay, 97. 1197, okay. Now, that's a pretty good weight, okay. I just weighed it in front of you, all right. So what I'm going to do right now is we're going to go ahead and figure out how much this actually is worth uh, down to what it basically is. Okay. So right now uh, we have palladium scrap. Okay. And it's pretty good palladium scrap. All right. I didn't say it was the best, but I basically said that, you know, it's pretty good. Okay. So right now we have 1197 grams of palladium scrap okay that's 1197 grams of palladium scrap if you can't see it i'm going to use a black permanent marker so it comes up 1197 grams of palladium scrap okay now that's pretty damn good okay now if i do end up putting some of this stuff here okay if i put some of this stuff in the machine i put it up i might not get all of that out okay so I might only get 10% of this, okay, in palladium. So if I take this number here and I break it down at 10%, I'll have 119.7 grams of palladium, okay? Now we need to figure out how much that's worth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my phone here, okay? And uh, we're going to go ahead and figure out what the price of 
uh, palladium is, okay? I'm going to make sure I give you guys a good video today, okay? All right, so palladium price right now, okay? As it basically shows, I'm going to pull this up. Uh, there's Kitco. That's basically there. Kitco's here. Okay, so palladium price right now is... Two thousand two hundred and ninety three dollars an ounce, okay, which is pretty good, okay, which is pretty good. But I need to figure out how much it is for the gram, okay. All right, so it is seventy three point seven two dollars per gram, which isn't bad, by the way, which isn't bad. Okay, so right now what I have to do is figure out, okay, if I have this here, how much is that right now? I should have a calculator. Okay, all right, so for right now, for all of this here, now here's the thing. I still have to subtract the 98 uh, grams of what this container is right now because I did weigh the container, so scratch that. Actually, let's just do... Uh, Let's just do the total weight for this is 1100. Okay, that'll make everything even square. Okay, so if I take 10% of that, I have 110 grams of uh, palladium just at 10%. Okay, and uh, crap, let's figure out what that was. 73. Okay, so we're going to do $73 times 110 grams of palladium scrap right now okay so we're gonna do this times 110 grams there okay and I get the amount of 8,030 there okay that's what I got now that's pretty damn good okay that's that's very good that's all tinker but here's the thing I want you to think dude we went to the garbage and got this stuff out now this here you could say that's silver there, I have some silver in there, silver in there. However, because of how concentrated the MLCCs are, and these are, I'm gonna get a little bit more, okay? Now, let's just say $8,000. Now, $8,000 is pretty good. But here's the thing, how many ounces do I have if I have 110 grams, okay? Because you guys should basically know uh, there's grams, there's ounces, and then there's pounds, okay? So, 16 ounces, make one pound and then it's 28.5 grams make an ounce so how many ounces do i have in here like the oh actually i'll show you right now what the whole base can be so what that means is and i have a silver cord here right now okay this is an ounce of silver okay just one ounce of silver so how many ounces of these would i have in palladium the price of that, okay, so how many ounces? So I would have to take the 110 uh, grams and divide that by 28.5, and I would have 3.8. So about three of these bars here. So how would that would look, okay, and I'm going to pull this out, is I would have about three bars like this. You see that there? Just three bars. One, two, three worth of palladium. This is silver, but I'm just saying it's worth of palladium. Now, again, that's pretty good. But the thing is, I can sell that and make a lot of money with it. It's pretty good to have it. I can sell it later on. It's a great commodity. I'd rather sell it in a high market, not in a low market. But you never know how bad stuff is. Okay? Now, here's the thing. We did that at uh, 10%. Now, let's break that down to 5% uh, just in case something was bad. Okay? So I'm going to CC this out. So you have a total of 110 grams of palladium scrap right now, okay? Uh, and we did that at 10%. Now let's get that at 5%, okay? Let's basically just say that out of, the, out of this here, only 5% is palladium, okay? So 5% there, okay? All right. And so I got 55 I just got 55 grams there of palladium. If this is just, if all of this here is only 5%. So at 55 grams of palladium, I'm gonna multiply that by 73, okay? And I got 4,000, 
15. Basically, just half of the 10%. You guys already figured that out, okay? Now, again, 55 grams would be, let's see, 28.5. Okay, 55 grams divided by 28.5. Okay, 55.5 equals 1.9. So I don't have two bars just yet, but I got 1.92. So, you know, later on I can probably make that two, two of these right here, which is pretty good. Okay, so, okay. So even at 5%, and I want you guys to understand this, even if all of this here, okay, is 5% palladium scrap, okay, I basically have $4,000, so $4,015 right there, okay? Now, what could I sell this for? Well, if I know the exact amount, and I don't want to do all the hard work. I'll give it to someone and say, hey, listen, dude, do you want to double your money or do you want to triple your money? You know, I could sell it to someone for two grand flat. Or I can sell it to someone for 1500 But here's the thing I have to account. I have to remember all the hard work I put in for this, okay? Because again, yeah, it's fun, but it's also hard work, okay? That's the thing. So I can sell it for 2000 I can sell it for 1500 but this is a lot of money right now. Okay, this is exactly how this works. Now, to be honest, let's say most of this is actually higher than 10%. Let's say all of this melted is 15% palladium. Okay, I th so if this is the 5%, I have to multiply this by 3 more. So let's take 4,015 multiplied by 3. I got 12,000. 45 okay which again is pretty good what could i sell this for i can give it to someone for six grand or even four to be honest i'll look up and see what people have melted it for but if people have basically and i'll look and see what the percentage is you know i don't think the percentage is going to be half but again you never know because we do have a lot of mlccs here we have a lot of stuff here that's some silver there we're going to take that out but let's basically say 12,000 is what they'll get out of it right now, okay? Guess what? I could sell it for six, I can sell it for four, it doesn't matter. But I'm not gonna sell it for 50 bucks. So figure out what the percentage is that you have compared to what you'll get out, and then figure out what's the lowest you'll take. Because obviously, you, ha you guys have to do some hard work for this. I know it's not easy, I know it's tough, but that's basically how it is, okay? It, it, it's not easy. All right. All right, guys, uh, that concludes the end of the video, but I'm going to show you something cool before I go. OK, I'll show you something real cool before I go. OK, here is my silver hoard stash. OK, I have silver bars here. I have a lot of silver coins here that I've collected. I have some I have a lot of uh, silver eagles in there. I got some other silver stuff in there. So I wanted to make sure this video was cool for you guys. Alright guys, that's everything there. I'm going to play this back so you can hear me. Everything is done. Put up for that around.